Hey, Ymir, how are you? We're good, man. Good evening, sir. Can you hear me? Hello, Emer. You good? Hi, Sandra. Welcome. Good to see you here. Laura, nice to see you too. How are you, Sandra? I'm excellent. <laughs> All right. Very good. Yeah. Carolina, nice to see you too. How are you, Laura? How was your day? Hi, baby. Nice to see you guys. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for interrupting, Laura. Right. So how, how was your day, Laura? Uh, it was great. All right. It was a little bit crazy. So we just... Today I returned to... Return back to my home and I started to do homework with my children and it was a little bit difficult because I live just with them and so I don't have anyone else that help me with that. You don't have anybody else to help me with that? Okay. All right. And after that I have to to make dinner. So, All right. After that I have and, to cook dinner. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. But very good. I'm here. That's okay. good. Yes. All right. I'm Thank trying you for to being keep early. alive. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Carolina, how was your day, Carolina? Hi, teacher. Hello. It was busy, too. It was busy? What do you do? Um, I. A house chores, I know house chores, house, house chores. chores, right? Yes. Uh -huh. House chores, I'm a teacher. Also, I need to help my daughter with her homework. Uh, I have to do planning things for tomorrow's lessons. So a lot of things to do. All right, very good. Okay, good job, guys. All right, guys, so we're going to continue with the confusing part of uh, relative clauses, okay? I actually want to show you something real quick guys okay so we make this a little bit easier for you okay teacher sorry to interrupt you can i ask you something about the platform go ahead i was working in a listening part uh, where we have to get some phone numbers and i i forget the name of the other uh, like the the boy called to a pharmacy and I don't know if I have to write the numbers in letters or like in numbers because I wrote them both ways and I have them incorrect always. Or okay. should I write, I don't know, high friends or things like that. I don't know. All right. Um, after everybody joins, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to get there. Okay. All right. We're going to see that we're going to solve them together. Okay. So don't worry Thank about you, that teacher. so far. Okay. No problemo. Okay, very good, guys. Anyways, uh, good welcome back, guys. Good evening, Emer. Nice to hear you. Thank you. I have a problem with the camera. Okay, okay. Give me a couple camera. of minutes. All right, all right. <laughs> Go for your troubleshooting guy. All right, very good, guys. All right, guys, so I made life easier for you, okay? Um, so I simplified the explanation for you, okay? All right, very good, guys. So, Sandra, what do we use relative clauses for? Relative clauses help us to describe uh, a dependent clause when the dependent clause uh, doesn't have a complete sense. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. 
Now that is that is true, but it also that's I mean that you what you're saying, all right? Uh, it's um, it's partly correct, okay? All right, it's true, okay. but it's not only with that, okay? The main usage, guys, is this, okay? And this is what I want you to understand, okay? So relative clauses, guys. Okay, the what we use them for. All right, is so we can give more information about the subject or the object, okay? So far, is it good? Okay. All yeah. right, very good, okay? Yes, so teacher. we give more information about the subject or the object of the sentence, okay? All right, and it helps us join two sentences together, yes? Yeah. So far, is it good? Yes, okay, teacher. very good, okay? So if I have two sentences here, okay? What is the first? What is the first sentence that I got here? I bought a, I bought new, a car. new car. I bought a new car. Very good. Okay, Carolina. What is the second sentence that I got here? It is very fast. It is very fast. Okay. Am I still talking about this? Am I still talking about the same thing? Am I still talking about the car? Yes, teacher. You are. All right. Very good. Okay. So when we join them together, remember, relative. And now the clauses will always be using relative pronouns, okay? In some cases, okay. you can you can accept them, right? Uh, so, for example, that, sometimes it's not necessary, okay? When you use the relative pronoun, that is sometimes not necessary, okay? All right? But in this case, guys, okay, if I want to join the two sentences together, take a look at this, okay? So we got idea number one here, uh, or sentence number one, sentence number two, right? I'm going to join them together because we're talking about the same thing, okay? So idea number one, I bought a new car. Yes? Then the relative clause, guys, and the noun clauses, okay? All right? Both can start with a relative pronoun. So here, guys, if I say I bought a new car. That is very fast. Oh, I forgot something here, okay? All right. It always describes, and we're going to see this later, okay? The noun okay. or the relative yeah. of the, or the preposition of the noun, okay? Anyways. So here, guys, okay? Let's take a look at this right here, okay? First of all, guys, where can you see the relative clause here? Remember, it is introduced by a relative pronoun. That is very fast. That is very yeah. fast. Okay, thank you, Sandra. Okay, this is the relative <laughs> clause. Okay. What's now, Carolina? let me ask you. Oh, Carolina, I'm sorry, Carolina. <laughs> no, no problem, teacher. All right, very good, guys. Okay. So, guys, when I say a car or a new car, okay, so this right here, what is this? Is it, is it a verb or is it a noun? No, it is a, it a is, subject. Okay, it is a subject, okay, but it is a noun. No, no, teacher, it is an object. I, it is a subject. It is a subject, yes, which is a noun. Yeah. The, the it thing is an okay. object, no, teacher. No, it's not an object. All right, let me teach you but, something real quick, okay, all right, before we continue, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, the subject, guys, okay, the subject, all right, of the sentence can be a noun or, a pronoun. or it could be a pronoun, mm -hmm. okay? So when you say noun, all right, you are referring to the car, blah, blah. When you say pronoun, he, she, it, got it? So, yes, yes right? So we're describing the subject, but... The subject usually can include, you know, I mean, the subject can be a whole sentence, guys, by itself, okay? All right? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But in this case, we're talking about the noun. Specifically, yes, you're, you're right. We're talking about the subject, but specifically about the noun, okay? This is what I want you to remember. Good? Mm, I thought that the subject, it would be in that sentence, I. What did I buy? And a new car. So, the car will be the object. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, I, I got you. I got you what you say, okay? But yes, okay. So, yes, the subject here, guys, okay, is I, but I'm not following. Remember, guys, check this out. Uh, 
it always describes a noun, okay? All right. Well, actually, let's change this, okay? It always describes the subject, but, all right, or the preposition of noun, but, hold on, other preposition here, guys. And always follows a noun, okay? All right. So it is clearer, guys, okay? So here, guys, the car. What comes after the car, Carolina? Uh, a relative adjective that, no. A relative pronoun, okay? A relative pronoun. Pronoun, yes, All pronoun. Right. Sorry, teacher. What pronoun. comes What comes right before the relative pronoun? The and this is a question. Is. Uh, no. Car. Car, car. <laughs> okay. And what is car, the in the, what is car in the sentence? All right, stop saying the object, okay? It is, the, yes, you're, you're right about something, okay? This is the subject of this sentence. This is the, the verb in the past of this sentence. This is an article, all right? This is an adjective and this is an object, adjective. right? Right, forget about a that, noun. okay? <laughs> this is a noun, yes? Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. what follows immediately after the noun is the relative pronoun, okay? So remember, it will always follow a noun. And what do they do, guys? A relative pronoun is also called an adjective pronoun, okay? Why? Because it gives you, it describes the subject of the sentence, okay? Got it? In this case, guys, okay. the subject or the object of the sentence, okay? All right. So far, so good? Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Yes. Yeah. So what is the difference between a noun clause in a relative in a relative clause guys okay so a noun clause let's talk about the noun clause uh laura well a noun clause can start with a relative pronoun which that who whom all right, very good, okay? Uh, pronunciation, guys, relative, okay? Not related, right? Be careful. All right, relative pronoun, okay? Okay, all right. So a relative pronoun, guys, is either which, that, who, whom, all right, et cetera. All the relative pronouns that you know, okay? All right, a noun clause. A noun clause what, guys? Describes a noun. Okay, hold that. All right, very good. And a noun clause... What else? It is used after a noun or a preposition of a noun. Okay. Is that it? All right. all right. It is used after a noun or a preposition of a noun. Okay. I think there is, all right, something wrong there. Okay. All right. So let's, but let's take a look at the first example, guys. Okay. So in this case, guys, when I say this is the person who painted the house, all right. When I say this, guys, okay, uh, what is, the, is this is the person? What is, is that, is that, um, is that a noun or is that, uh, this should be the other way around, by the way, guys. All right, but is that a noun or is that a verb? The person. A noun, teacher. All a noun. right, it is a noun, right? Very good. All right, now when you take a look at the second example, all right, after a preposition of a noun, if I say this is the person whom I asked to clean the room, okay? So where is where is the relative clause here? Whom I asked to clean the room. Okay, whom, okay? Because whom is what, guys? I mean, that's the clause. That's the whole clause. But what is the, the relative pronoun? Uh, whom. Uh-huh. Very good. Now, let me ask you this, guys. Can both of them... Start with a relative pronoun. Can the noun clause and a relative clause start with a noun pronoun? I think yes, teacher. All right. Very good. What do you think, Sandra? Yes, too. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. Now, let's take a look, guys, at a relative clause, okay? All right. So, again, guys... All done, guys. Give me one second here, okay?
do me a favor. Meanwhile, guys, I got to change something here. Because it just messed up the presentation for some reason. Hold on. All right. I'm going to send you guys. Um, I'm going to send you a screenshot right now to the WhatsApp group. Okay. And choose the right relative pronoun. Okay. So you're going to see two sentences there. Okay. All right, there's a space in between. I need you to join those two ideas together, okay? And I'll be right back with you. All right? Hold on. All right, guys. Check out the person, uh, the WhatsApp group, guys, okay? And try to join those two ideas together, okay? You can do it in your notebook if you want. I'm just going to ask you after that. Got to fix something real quick. All right, I'm gonna break you up into rooms, guys. Hold on. All right. All right, Karina. All right, guys, so let's work on it. Hello. <laughs> Great to see you. Hi, Sandra. Hi, the same. <laughs> I've <Okay>. been lost. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> well, okay. I already did uh, the first three, one. Two, one it's on. Okay, let's see. give me the first. Let's see if I have it the same. This is a band which was robbed yesterday. Oh, I have that. But I think it's correct, right? Yeah, it can be both. But the next one, we have a boy sister. I think, I think it is a boy whom sister is in my class or whose sister. All right. Hmm. Home, I think. I, mm -hmm. I wrote home, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. But what do you think? Which, which relative pronoun we have to use? Mm -hmm. I think this is the bank. Mm, which was wrote yesterday. Mm -hmm. This is the bank which yeah. was. Yeah. Well, but that is in is <laughs> Yes, because it's in past now. This is in the past, but the verb I think doesn't matter. Just we have no. to connect with with a pronoun, a relative pronoun. Okay. This, this is, is the verb. <laughs> That was. It was rough yesterday. I think that we can use both or not. That was. That was. Yes. I think we can do it because that I think is very very generic. Okay. A boy sister in my class was in the bank at that time. Yeah. A boy, a boy sister. A, a boy sister. I don't understand. A boy sister. Uh -huh. Will be a sister's boy. My boy. As a boy sister. Or it was wrong. Or it's wrong. It's wrong. I, 
a boy sister is in my class was in the back of the I think a boy who is who is in my class and which I think was with a, with a sister a boy who is in my class was in the bank I think sister is wrong in the sentence because it, do, it doesn't make sense I think it's a mistake and a, a boy who was who, who is sorry who is in my class was in the bank at the time. Okay. Who is in the third is the man who wrote the bank had to be sold. The man. The man Which? who wrote. Oh, who robbed the bank had two pistols. Who? Oh. Okay. He wore a mask, made him look like Mickey Mouse. Which was which made? He wore a mask, which was made. Was made. He wore a mask that made. No, that may look like a Mickey Mouse. Like that was. I think for me it sounds better with which for me, but I'm not sure. I think that is correct. He wore a mask that is made. It's that it's possible. Look, looks look like he wore a mask that look him. Or look him like Mickey Mouse. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, he wore a mask that is made him. Uh, that is made. I'm gonna look for it. Oh. How is the name? The pronouns. Who? Mm. It is in the list. Who's W H O S E? Mm -hmm. And I have. This is a boy whose book I borrowed. So I think it's correct to say, who's in the second one. Who's? Mm -hmm. Okay, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, let's see if I can send it in the group. And then, um, let me see. Uh -huh. Now, it's in the, in the group, Sandra. Okay. Who's show possession? And yep. Who's then? Mm -hmm. It sounds better for me, but I don't know for you. Yep. In the, like the I police the officer, same. right? Like whose car because it's his car so it's yeah. his possession mm -hmm. and the last one was a police officer car we did the the last one, a police officer. Uh, that's Which the one car? that I was talking about. Okay. Whose, whose car? car? Okay. I think it is whose. Mm -hmm. Because it's his possession, I think. Mm -hmm. A police officer whose car was parked at the next corner stopped and arrested them. 
I think. All right, guys, let's go back. All right, guys, welcome back, okay? So, what do you get on the first one? So, this is the bank. So, what is the relative pronoun that we use in the first exercise? Which? That was robbed. That was robbed. All right. Very good, okay. The right the right relative pronoun here is that guys, okay? Very good, because we use that for things, right? Or people. All right, now boy, sister is in my class, was in the bank at that time. All right. I we really might, don't we, we might, understand. We might, hey, what if what if we need two of them here? Because a boy sister guys doesn't make sense. Okay, uh, so we need, yeah, we need a relative just, pronoun, right? Really? A sister who is uh, uh, a boy who, a boy is with a boy who is who's who's sister. Very good. Okay, who's a sister. boy ah. whose sister is in my class. Uh huh. Uh huh. Was yeah. in the bank at that time, right? Very good. Okay. Now the men. All right. So who has this one? Uh, the man who the man, man who robbed who robbed the bank. Now you can also can I say that guys? Can I say this? The man who robbed the bank had two pistols. Can you say that? Yes, teacher. Yes, you can. All right, very good. Thank you, very All right, you can say who or that guys. So uh, next one, he wore a mask, made him look like Mickey Mouse. That was made. That made okay, him. That good. made okay. him. That made him. Okay. Right, very good. He didn't wait at the traffic Can light. we use which, teacher? Can we use which? Which yes. made him look you like. You can say which made him look okay. like. Okay. Right, he didn't wait at the traffic lights were red. Which were red. That. That, okay. that were red. <laughs> Oh, you can say which or that, guys, okay? Both are correct. All right, a police officer. Whose car? Whose car? Very good. Whose car was ah. parked at the next corner? Ah. Stopped and arrested them. Okay? Uh, so, so for you guys. Hey, All right, guys. I apologize, guys, for the presentation here for some reason. Uh, whoever did it, guys, just copied and pasted it, okay? All right, hold on. Okay. All right, now, it is correct now, guys, okay? So, the difference, guys, okay? So, a noun clause, okay? Both of them, notice something, okay? Both of them can start with a relative pronoun, okay? All right? Both of them follow, not start really, guys. All right, what I mean with start, guys, is that they follow a relative pronoun, okay? All right? So, that means which, that, whom, who, etc. right? You know the relative pronouns, okay? Secondly, a noun clause can work as either the subject or the object of the sentence, okay? Now, check this this out, okay? This is this is uh, this is what you were talking about, Caroline, okay? All right, this is a noun, okay? Like this part right here, when we say the, the room is a noun, okay? But check mm -hmm. this out. Are we starting, guys, are we starting the sentence with a relative pronoun, yes or not? Yes, yes. All right, if you see a sentence, guys, okay? If you see a sentence that start with a relative pronoun at the beginning of the sentence, that is a noun clause. Got it? Got it. All, every single time, okay? All right, very good. Now, so just because of that, guys, we know that this is a noun clause, okay? All right? This whole thing, everything that is in green works as a subject, okay? Got it? All right, very good, all right? And it doesn't matter, guys, if it follows, all right, if it follows a noun or if it is a verb, okay? We're gonna see that later, okay? All right, now, it can also work as the object of the sentence, all right? What tells me here, guys, that there is a noun clause here? So 
So why is this a, why is this not a relative a relative pronoun, guys? Okay. The reason why, guys, is because what is this? What is knows? A verb. It is a verb, right. okay? Uh, I, I'm sorry, Karina, what were you going to say? <laughs> I will say an action verb, but I, I don't know. All right. Okay, all right. Well, uh, knows, knows that it's, uh, it's a stated verb, okay? But, uh, but yeah, it's a verb, okay? Very good, okay? So now, guys, a noun clause, okay? cannot be, can either follow, you know, another, I mean, a noun, or you can follow a verb, okay? But that is not the case with a relative clause, okay? All right? So, this is why, guys, we know that this is a noun clause, okay? Got it? Because it's following, remember, it comes at the, either at the beginning, after a verb, or a preposition of a verb, right? All right? It can work as the subject or the object of the sentence, okay? Now, after a preposition, guys, okay, the person is still trying to figure out this figure out, guys, okay, to figure out this phrase right here works as a preposition, okay? And it's the preposition for this subject right here, okay? Now, a relative clause can always start, can start with a relative pronoun, right? Right? But it cannot, and by this, guys, okay, it should say, guys, instead of start, guys, let's change that to, you know, can follow, okay? Let's change it to follow, okay? Can follow a relative pronoun, okay? But it cannot start with a relative pronoun. The sentence cannot start with a relative pronoun, all right? All right, so the man, okay, this is the example that we were seeing before, Karina, right? This is, this is the whole subject, right? This is the man who painted the house, right? This is the whole subject, okay, of the sentence, okay? Now, the man, specifically man, guys, is a noun, okay? So if it follows a noun, in this case, and it is describing, right, if it is giving information about the man, then it is a relative pronoun. I mean, a relative plus, right? Why is it a relative plus? Because it works as an adjective, and it follows a noun. Tell me, Carolyn. Can we say, teacher, that a relative clause is an adjective clause? Yes. The one that describes the noun. Yes, yes, I have it here. Yes, uh, it is an adjective clause. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Oh, okay, thank you, all teacher. All right. So it always describes the noun, right? Now, in this case, guys, it follows a noun or a preposition of a noun. Okay. So, am I following the noun here, guys? Yes or not? Yes. Where is the noun here? Yes, you are. The man. The man. The man. Okay, very good. Okay. Now, preposition is right here. Okay. With. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where is the Where is the the noun here? Man. Man. Man again, right? So, am I am I following the two rules? Am I describing? You know. Yep. Am I describing yes. the noun? Okay, very good. Now, this is an example after the preposition of a noun, okay? So this is the difference, oh, guys, between you. them two, all right? Now, now so, so, so check this out, guys, again. So if I say this, guys, who cleaned the room is unknown, okay? So why, guys, if I, if I do have a noun here, why is this a noun clause and not a relative clause? Uh huh. Can you repeat the question, teacher, please? Okay, why is this sentence, okay? Why is this mm -hmm. sentence a noun clause? Because it is starts with a relative pronoun. Very good. Okay, good job, guys. Okay, because it starts with a relative pronoun. Why is this a noun clause and not a relative clause? It is because, after the verb. Yeah. Because it follows a verb, okay? Very good, okay? Also, guys, because if I say no one knows or he knows who cleaned, who cleaned uh, the room, is that describing the, 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 the noun? There, is, there, isn't any, there isn't even any noun, guys, any subject to describe here, right? It is not giving more information. It doesn't work as an adjective, okay? All right? 
Very good, guys. Okay, this we're not gonna see, guys. But just so you know, guys, it's because it's after a preposition. Okay? All right. All right. And here, guys. Okay. So if you have to explain to me why is this, so why is this uh, a relative plus? Gamer, why is this a relative plus? This is a relative plus because this. Describes the the man. Good job. All right, works as an adjective. All right, and the man is what? Is that is this a noun? It's a noun. It always, always, dude. Everybody always describes the noun. Okay, always. It cannot describe a verb. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. All right. Uh, and this right here. Why is this, um, Laura? Why is this a relative clause and not and not a noun clause? Because it start with a relative pronoun. All right. Now here. Oh, by the way, guys. Good note. Good notice. This guys. This right here. This is not a real. These guys. Okay. This is what you need to understand in grammar. Okay. Many many words will work as different things in grammar. Okay. That right here, guys. Is not. Is not. Um. Is not working as a connector. Okay. If it is not working as a connector, it is not a relative pronoun. All right, just so you understand what I'm saying, guys, okay? Just so you understand what I'm saying, when you say that in Spanish here, it means eso o ese or esa, right? Got it? But when you say that as a relative pronoun, it means this. Got it? Got it? Got it, teacher. All right, all right very good, okay? So this is why, guys, okay, don't get confused with this, okay? This right here is not a relative pronoun okay all right very good guys okay. the reason why guys is because what is this guys? what is man very good and what is with preposition all right so the rule says after a preposition of a noun right a noun. yeah very mm -hmm. good okay all right guys now how clear is this how clear is this for you carolina sandra Emer, laura now it's, it's better, better than teacher. yesterday. <laughs> All right. Yes, I know, guys. But... I got confused, but now I am very clear about it, teacher. All right. Thank very you. good. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. So give me your own examples. <laughs> I don't know how the presentation got messed up the last hour. Okay. Anyways, guys. So uh, give me your own examples. Okay. Think about two ideas first, okay? and then give me your own examples. All right. If I moved you guys, I'm sorry. It's just that you have a lot of background noise. Okay. So I just want to. All right. Uh, if I mute you, it's because of that. I'm sorry. All right. So, Emer, give me an example of a relative clause. Mm. By the way, if you want, I will send you the screenshots here. Okay. Hold on. I will send you the screenshots to the WhatsApp group so you can take a look at them. Uh, my example. Yes, hold on. All right. All your horses, guys. So I'm going to send you this to the WhatsApp group right now, guys. So then you can give me your own examples, okay? All right, awesome guys. All right, go ahead. Uh, my example is. Do my favorite guys, everybody, uh, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Everybody start thinking about your example, okay? Write it down in your notebook right now because I'm gonna ask everybody, okay? Okay. All right, so let's go, Emer. Okay. 
David gave me a lot of money, which helped me to pay my to pay David, the mortgage. Give me a lot of money. Give me. <laughs> give me. Gave me. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Gave, gave me. me. Okay. A lot of money, which helped help me to pay <laughs> Why <are you> my <laughs> car. <laughs> Okay, all right, very good, okay? <laughs> Why are you laughing, man? All right, which helps me pay, okay, my car. Right? You oh. do not need to use two there, but you can, but it's not necessary, okay? So David gave me a lot of money, which helps me pay my car. First of all, guys, let's identify the relative or noun clause here, okay? Which is always introduced by what? A relative pronoun. Very good, so let's see, okay? So according to this, that should be what? which helped me pay my car, right? Very good. All right, so what would you say, guys? Is this a relative a relative clause or is this a noun clause? It's a noun clause. A noun clause. Very good. Why is it a noun clause? Because there is a noun there. Because what? Because you have a noun. Yes. Money. Uh, <laughs> All right, yes, this is a noun, right? But are you sure is, is that is that for is that remember guys, okay? All right, forget about the first part of the presentation because that was messed up, okay? So according to what, what you got on the WhatsApp group, guys, okay, take a look at the images, okay? All right. Remember what clause always describes a noun, always describes a noun. No. The relative clause. No. The relative clause, guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It says it always describes the noun, right? So is this a relative clause or is this a noun? Relative. 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 relative teaching. Very good. Okay. Good job. I was a scar. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. My God. A lot of background noise. Okay. All right. Uh, Carolina, give me a noun clause. I thought the relative way. Give the noun. Um, I teach it. I thought the relative. Give right, me a guys, moment. I'm right, going to think the in, the, yeah. in the noun. The, don't worry. Ah, think about I have both the relative. Guys, okay? The right. girl. Huh? Okay. The girl who, no, the girl who is in the park is my sister. Okay, the girl who is in the park is my sister. All right, very good. All right, so what is the relative clause here, guys? I know that you know, Carolina. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, Humor, which one is it? The relative. Yes. Who is the relative um, who is in the park with my sister? Who is in the park is my sister, okay? Very good. It's yeah. my sister. You're right, right here, okay? Very good, okay? The girl who is in the park is my sister, okay? Actually, here, guys, okay? All right, we're missing the subject here, but you can consider this whole thing as the relative, um, I mean, the, the relative uh, clause, okay? Very good, okay? Good job. So, are we describing a verb or are we describing a noun? Are we hearing more information about the noun? What do you think? What do you think, Ymir? All right, take a look at the image, guys, okay? And tell them, what do you think? First of all, guys, ask yourselves, are we giving more information about the noun? Does this work as an adjective? Even though, guys, okay, yes, it follows the rule that it always describes a noun, right? But, okay, does it work as an adjective? What do you think? Can I answer, teacher? Go ahead, Karina. Yes, he's giving more information about the noun girl. Very good. Okay, it is gave it. Good job, Mr. Karina, guys. Beautiful. All right, Sandra. 
You are going to give me a noun clause. Okay. Uh, what Marvin did surprised his friends. What, what? I'm sorry? What Marvin did uh, Marvin, surprised. Okay. Yeah. Surprised. His friends. His friends. Okay, good job. Okay. All right. So what is what is the relative noun here? I mean, what is the noun clause here? I'm sorry. What? What Marvin did. What Marvin did. Okay, very good. Okay. Why is this a noun clause and not a relative clause, guys? Because of the verb. Yep. Oh, but also because so if I begins get, with begins with exactly with yes. Is. Got it, okay? Because remember, you can never ever in your life start a relative clause with a relative pronoun, okay? All right. Oh my god, I feel so glad that you that we got this. <laughs> <laughs> I have the noun teacher. Go ahead. I have the Go noun ahead, clause, Karina. but I don't I have what you have said may makes her sad. Oh, that's too sad. All right. Oh, yes, what you I have know. said yeah. makes her sad. Okay, so which one? All right, Laura, which one is the relative? I mean, the, the, the noun clause here. What you have. What you have, what you what? have said. What, what you, you have, have said. said. Hey, very good, guys. Okay. Right, you, can, you can also change, change this to what you have said is beautiful. You can also, guys, good job. Thank you, Laura. Thank you very much, Ray. You can also combine it, guys, okay? You can say, for example, let's try to combine them, guys. Okay, combine them both, okay? Let's say... Um, Cheyenne. No, teacher. No, no, Cheyenne. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? Who you have something with Cheyenne. I remember. Who should we? That pick? you always say Cheyenne. <laughs> <laughs> Who should we pick? I will prefer. Um. The Backstreet boy teacher. The Backstreet. No, I don't know. Backstreet boy. Okay. <laughs> yes, Backstreet boy right, teacher. Okay. All right. All right. Freddie Mercury. All right, the Backstreet Boys. El bicho azul. <laughs> the Backstreet Boys, who are really popular. Who wear are, teacher? <laughs> oh, who wear right? Who wear? <laughs> who are really popular? Back in the 90s, 90s, all right? So the Backstreet Boys Yay. were really popular back in the 90s. Uh-huh. What else? Hmm. Take a look at the... Uh, Way hand. <laughs> okay. Way handsome. Huh? But remember, I want to combine, <laughs> I want to combine a relative clause plus an, a plus, a plus a noun clause. So take a look at the noun clause, okay? So how can we introduce a noun clause here? I think in one, but let me think. Uh-huh. In the 90s. Uh, All right. Thought the reason. Started. Started. You can say. What was the reason? It started. No, you know what? Uh, all right, let's see. The Backstreet Boys were really popular back in the 90s. Inspired. Okay, inspired. It was a new era. Oh. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> what was a new era? Okay. Very good. Okay, this is good. Okay, good job. You got it. Good job. <laughs> All right, guys. You you guys are very smart. Okay. So first of all, guys, where do we have the relative clause here? The Backstreet Boys who who were who were, who were really, really popular, popular. Yeah. popular in the nineties. Like okay, very 90s. good. So we got the in first the, the first uh, relative clause there. Okay, and then when where do we have the noun clause? What, what was a new, was a new era. era? All right, very good. What was a new era? Right. Good job. All right. All right. All right. I'm proud of you guys. Okay. 
Do we have any me questions? Me too. <laughs> I'm proud of me too. All right. Do we have any questions, Laura, Sandra, Emer, or Karina? We good? Sandra? <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, guys. Okay, all right. So uh, let's let's work on this, guys. Okay. All right. So we got eight minutes. I'm not sure. Let's let's do it all together, guys. Okay. Oh. I said that I was going to help you with the listening exercise, right? But uh, Please, we're, we're going to do it, guys. I promise we're going to do it this week. I don't think we're going to have uh, time today, but we're probably going to do it tomorrow, okay? Now, complete the following sentences by adding suitable noun clauses, okay? So let's try it, okay? So I cannot understand. Laura, you know what, guys? Let's play five seconds, okay? That means that you have five seconds to answer. If not, I'm going to... I'm going to jump to a different person, okay? All right, Laura, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Too slow, Sandra. Five. Wait, I cannot understand what you told me. <laughs> you have to add noun clauses here. Okay, what you told me. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was tricky. <laughs> It was so All funny. All right, very good. Okay, all right. <laughs> you are bad. Okay, all right. You're bad. Okay, good job. All right, good job. Those were Sandra. <laughs> good, Sandra. <laughs> All right, okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right, very good. Emer, next one. Five seconds. Five. They say, four. which was the reason? <laughs> they said, which was the reason? That's the son of the bastard boy they, teacher. <laughs> they said which this would be what the reason was. Okay, so change that, okay? Uh -uh, give me a different one, okay? okay? Think about it, okay? Uh Carolina, next one. I think I think that we all understood the topic. <laughs> that we all understood the topic. Now by the way, guys, okay, now here, all right, is this a relative clause? Is, is that working as a relative clause, guys? Yes, it is, right? Uh, be careful, mm -hmm. guys, because sometimes that will not work as a relative. Um, I'm sorry, it will not work as, a, as an out clause, okay? Very good, okay. All right, mm -hmm. uh, Laura, next one. He told me. Told me that was right. He told me what? He told me that I was right. That right. I was right. Right. Okay. All right. Now here, guys. All right. Here. Uh, does this work as an clause? What do you think? I think no. yes. All right. Who said no? Sandra. All right. Why not, because Sandra? There is there is not a verb there. Okay. All right. Well, actually, told, told me. Told me. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Yes, guys. Okay. All right. Now, last one, guys. Last one should be really easy. Uh, Emer. I I saw in the in the two. <laughs> uh. Five, four, three. What you just. Uh, Let, I, I want you guys stop saying that, okay? Let's use another. There are like. I try to not to say that. All right, don't say that or what, okay? Who hurts me? No, nope, that's incorrect. Mm. Carolina, let's go. What you just did hurts me. What you just did hurts me. Okay, all right. I don't want you to use what, guys. Okay, sorry, teacher. I heard that. That's okay. Wait, baby. Um, who was that hurt me? All right, let's see. to me, it hurts me. I don't oh, want you to use what. Yeah. I don't want you to use what. <laughs> when you. When. You lie to me, it hurts me. Okay, when you lie to me. All right, hurts me. Okay. Hurts me. All right, when you lie to me, it hurts me. Is that correct, guys? It hurts yeah. me. When you lie to me, it hurts me. All right. 
Now you need to use it hurts me. There will be a comma here. All right. Now that is technically mm -hmm. correct, guys, but can we do it better? When you lie to me. When you say lights to me, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay, when you say lies, lies to me. Hurts me. Okay, it hurts me. Okay, all right. We're good. All right, guys. So <laughs> they said, they said what? I don't want you to use that, okay? The, they say. Who, they said, no say it. They said, that. they said who robbed the bank. It's. It's our neighbor. <laughs> neighbor. Uh, uh, that, uh, that, would, that would be correct. They said. Who. Or who, right? What? They say. The, the noun clause has to be exactly next to the word said. No, nope. remember. All right. In the, in the example okay. before, right? You could use it after they a say... noun as well. Remember uh -huh. this, guys. Okay, let's, they let's say... go back here. All right. And noun clause, right? <laughs> Who cleaned the room is unknown, right? But why, guys? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why is this? Okay. Why is this working they as a noun clause say... and not a relative clause? Because this is not working as an adjective, okay? But you can uh, use it as mm -hmm, after mm -hmm. a noun, okay? Go ahead. They say... They said... They said... Who's... <laughs> which place to visit? Who's... They, who's they said... When? Well, who's... Who's I, when? They, they mentioned... Well, no, they who's, said, okay, they said who's, who's wind, who's what, cup. who's win the cup, who's, who's won. won, okay, won the they cup. said, now in this case, that'll be who's, all right, uh -uh. who's the winner, okay, they said they who's said. the winner <laughs> of the World of cup, the cup is, or was or is, right, very good. Uh, all, right. Uh, all right, good job. Look for you guys. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, good job, guys. Good job, good job, right? All right, all right. So now we can consider this clear and uh, talking about the platform, guys. Okay, let me just pull it out here. Talking about the platform, guys. I will help you guys with uh, with your exercises. Okay, later on. Do me a favor, since we all completed this part of the section. Okay. I want you to do exercise. Hold on. I want you to do exercise 2.2 guys. All right. And to take a look at the video that says that drives me up the wall. Okay. That's just some vocabulary. Okay. All right guys. So thank you guys for joining. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Ymer. Thank you, Carolina. All right, uh, please be early tomorrow. I'll see you. All right, take care. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye.